Thanks for joining me for this edition of the Church Security Answer Man. I want to get right to talking about was a church actually sued for security related issues? A couple of things. So, uh, and, and what issues are these supposedly on this lawsuit? This is a church out of uh, San Jose, California. And uh, this church was, it was during 2020, was an incident that occurred a stabbing incident at the church. So let's talk about some of the details just a little bit. So this suit uh, claims or names, and, it's, and let's talk about for a second, I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving you legal vi advice. What I do want to do today is I want to point out to you that it is possible for us to get sued. You know, we have traditionally always said, I, I've heard it for years, leadership or some of us, I don't want to have a security team because I don't know what liability that brings on and I'm afraid of the liability. And I'm here to say to you today, what I've kind of been saying for a while is, I believe we can get sued for not taking action or not having a security team. And so I want to discuss that with you today, not to say I'm right, not I'm not being boastful, but what I am saying is, is here's an example, and I think there's a few others, but I want to talk about this one. Here's an example that if we're not taking action to protect people, we can be sued as well. So we've got to be doing something is my opinion, not my legal advice. I'm not an attorney my opinion for you. So here's some of the details, some of the history. And uh, it, it, we look at the lawsuit names, the church, Grace Baptist Church out of San Jose, Grace Solutions, which is running a shelter attached to the church. Uh, and there's contracts and stuff between the two, but it's part, the lawsuit feels it's part of the church. And I don't know the business mechanics of it, what is the setup exactly, and the suit names the suspect. So uh, the incident was uh, just a couple of years ago in 2020, and it was a fatal stabbing at the uh, shelter attached to the church. And so the incident killed two persons, injured three. The suit claims that everybody knew already that this suspect who became violent and stabbed folks had a known violent behavior. And so, and they did not evict him and they didn't have proper security. That's the important thing I want to point out as a lay person with just law enforcement experience, not legal experience and not an attorney. I just want to make sure that you see this, that they knew that there could be a problem with a specific person here, but they knew there could be a problem and did not have proper security. So uh, that is very interesting and very important as far as I'm concerned for us to take note of. Uh, so the lawsuit appears to me to claim the church and shelter organization did not evict the suspect who showed dangerous behavior prior to the stabbing. There were a few incidents going on that they should have noticed uh, and I see that it really correlates to us knowing that there's a potential for a problem at a church, or especially if you're in a violent area or a downtown area where there's potential for problems, there's uh, all kinds of issues around the city, and we're not paying attention to that. I, that, to me, says there could be some sort of an issue there that we're not paying attention to that we know is going on. We're in a high crime area. We just have the potential of being attacked. I don't know how far a lawsuit could go, but I bet it's coming in the future and we can see it through this. And this uh, suit also appears to claim that they did not provide proper security to prevent the incident. So, and that is really concerning to me that we're not providing security for the incident. Now, I admit day to day or just a Sunday to Sunday or Saturday to Saturday, whenever you meet, it's not saying that here, but it to me, it's close for my concerns of what I'm always saying that I think that, you know, in the past, we've always just said, I don't want the liability of security, but I see that there's a chance that now 
with this lawsuit that the courts and the the society could be moving in the direction of there's liability if we're not doing something to take care of our people. Especially you could begin to say there is violence against churches. There's a trend of that. And so violence happens against churches. Churches have been called a soft target for a long time. And we should be doing something. And if something happens at your church and you're not doing anything because you're afraid of the security concept, then we could be sued for that, I believe, and is my concern, just as a layperson, just as my opinion. So that's why I wanted to bring this to you today. Don't forget, we've got all kinds of stuff over at churchsecurityanswerman.com. I would like to hear your comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? What are your thoughts on these things? Leave a comment if you're watching, especially on YouTube, or come over to our YouTube. Please like and subscribe. That helps us get this information out to other people. We always want to be helping you uh, where we can. And take a look at this video here, because I think it's a great one that you should watch. 